The quantity that describes how fast the work can be done is named power. In physics, power is defined as the ratio of the amount of work to the time period in which the work is done. The unit of power is watt, equivalent to joule per second. Another unit of power that is still used in some circumstances is horsepower. Every horsepower is equal to 10,000 watts. Rocket is a perfect example of why power matters. To escape the gravity of Earth, a minimum speed has to be achieved. The rocket mass plus its load mass is huge, which requires a very large amount of work to be done. The required speed and the amount of work for launching a rocket sets a lower limit of power for the engines. The most powerful rocket engine in history that was used on the Saturn V rocket in the NASA's Apollo program can produce power up to 160 million horsepower or 1.6 trillion watts. This rocket is so powerful that it can help a 2,000 square feet house escape from the Earth. Let us make a simple calculation of the power this woman needs to run upstairs in the figure. Keep in mind that work is a method of transferring energy. This woman starts with zero kinetic energy and zero potential energy relative to the ground. But finally, she ends with non-zero kinetic energy and non-zero gravitational potential energy. The change in both energies is due to the work. To find the work, we just need to calculate how much the change in both energies is. Then based on the definition of power, the work divided by the time is equal to power. So let's set up this problem. And we know that the initial kinetic energy is zero. Also, initial potential energy is zero as well. But finally, the kinetic energy is equal to one half times the mass of this woman, which is 60 kilograms, and times her final speed, which is 2.00 meters per second square. And this is equal to 120 joules. The final potential energy is equal to mgh, which is 60 kilograms times 9.80 and times the final height, which is 3.0 meters. And this is equal to 1,764 joules. So work required is equal to the change, the total change in both energies, which is equal to 120 plus 1,764. The answer is 1,884 joules. Therefore, the required power for this woman is the total work divided by the time, which is equal to 1,884 joules divided by 3.50 second. And the answer is 538 watts.